Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and today I want to take a look at the Sprite Registration Tool, or the Sprite Tool for RPG developer Bakin. The Sprite Tool is the last tool available under the Master Menu, and comes with its own tooltip window, just like the other tools, along with its box that has a check to not show next time. Just a note on the display, I am currently recording this video with a 4K resolution. As such, some of the UI might be smaller than it would be if you were using this engine with a smaller resolution. So the advice panel reads, Sprite registration. By combining 2D images specifying the display timing, position, angle, and etc., you can create animated sprites that can be used in the game. In addition to creating effects to be displayed in battles and events, and facial animation of casts for use in conversation scenes, screen effects such as fade-outs and slide-ins can be created and used in layout tools. It is a tool that can be utilized in a variety of ways, depending on the creativity. If you are not sure what to do, please refer to the manual on the RPG Builder Bakin official site, as always. So we'll leave this box checked and we'll hit OK. First thing I want to show you is that the sprite list will be on the left and our displayed selections will be on the right. And you can move the border between these two panels, effectively resizing them. For the sprite list, we have a search tool as well as an add button to add a sprite set, a plus to add a motion to your selected sprite, a copy, a paste, and a delete. These will work with these sprite sets or with the motions. As for sprite sets and motions, each sprite set consists of one or more motions. Here I have the event effect sprite set selected, and it contains the shaking and concentration line motions. So as soon as I select one of the motions, we have a lot of different options in this right hand pane now and we can also move the border between the top and bottom right panes to effectively resize our work area and that change will stay consistent at the very top we have the preview scale we can change that to be much bigger just so that we can preview our sprite and see what we're working with you can turn screen markers on or off you can turn the layout number on the preview on or off and that layout number is represented by a small number right here by the crosshairs you can also turn the default target or target image on or off. The target is just letting you know exactly where the anchor point will be when this animation is displayed during runtime. You can change the image used for default target as well as change the image for the default background. And you can target the center, target the feet, or target the entire screen. We'll be able to see the differences between these later. As for the bottom pane, this is the timeline. This is where you will effectively be able to create your animations in engine. You can add layers and frames, copy, paste, and delete sections or keyframes, play, pause, and loop animation playback. We have the ability to set the start timing, frame number, screen flash, target flash, sound effects, and layers. And we can name our layers. You can use left click to select the various elements of your animation, and you can use the scroll wheel by holding it down and moving your mouse to move the entire canvas or scroll in and out to zoom in and out of your animation so you can see precisely what you're working with. Now the menu on the right will change depending on what you have selected in what is now the center pane. For example, if we select the layer one first frame, we can see that we can change the color, the position, the scale, the rotation, or even the image to be used. Shaking in this context is not an effect, but actually the name of this image. Now it seems this tool can be used to replace the character portraits section of the characters tab in resource archive of Smile Game Builder. So just to tour some of the other animations that are included with this tool, we have title, which includes the background display, background appearance, logo appearance and display motions, spirit sword 2D, something called for Bemis event, better to show you than try to explain it. It kind of looks like a slide in for an animation that's going to introduce something like the name of the, of the zone, something called Angry, in which what looks like a main character or player character slides onto the screen. And then you can see we have animations for character busts to be used in dialogue. So this tool is replacing the character portraits tab of the characters menu in Smile Game Builder's resource archive. We've also got our map player icons and various windows as well as cursors, text cursor, title cursor. We have different menu animations here as well, so it looks like we'll be able to customize the way that our menus look and are animated. Here's one that I found called Map Name In. When I play it, 
it looks like it will introduce the name of the map that you're in. We have another one called Map Name On, which seems to hold the position, and Map Name Out, which will allow it to disappear gracefully. As for those character busts mentioned, the main character included alone has eight different expressions, and it looks like we'll be able to add as many more as we desire. Not only are the expressions here static, but they also all have talking animations. We have another set devoted strictly to a version of the same character that is now wearing a weapon at his side. And it looks like we have multiple characters with these same selections. Yet another one that is included with the default assets of the engine, and another. Just a couple more, just to show off what characters are included. Here's the one that appears to be the mascot, in my opinion. And you can take these animations and add to them, using them as a base. You can use them as is, or you can use the framework the way that they are laid out for your use in completely original animations. Included NPCs, with lots of expressions each. Plenty here for somebody to start making a game immediately with a lot of characters. A barmaid, a king, a queen, prince and princess, knights, a maid, a butler, a cleric, a shaman, a pastor, a nun, a pirate, a brigand, a merchant. It looks like this is also where our game over graphics are. And finally, our emotes. That means effectively this tool also replaces the windows, images, icons, and maybe even the battle background sections of the game images tab in Smile Game Builder's resource archive. This is an all-in-one animation tool. That concludes the complete overview of the sprite tool for RPG developer Bakin. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.